I was like, you're just trying to get that for two years and you're blessed. I was trying to get mine when I got my $25 one. I was trying to get for two years so hard. I'm like, no, we're not giving anybody two years. Shit. I mean, that makes sense. I'm not going to expect them to give me. Yeah, just worth a try. Like, you can't ask. Maybe it was like, you know what? We can give you two years. I'm like, take it. That would have been crazy. I'm still not understanding that call, man. Like, okay. So for the viewers, obviously, because it's known that I've pressed record <laughs> at this point. I have Roger's internet. One of th- two providers. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a bunch of others, bro. One of two providers in yeah, fucking two. Canada. And, and I'm pretty sure Rogers owns Bell. Uh, well, they own Shaw, for sure. And they own um, fucking... Don't they own the next Rogers one? Rogers owns Shaw? Yeah. I thought Bell owns Shaw. No, Bell owns... Um, Virgin. Well, yeah, but... Because Virgin has their own internet line, too. Rogers owns Fido, who has their own internet. Rogers owns Rogers, who has their own internet. Rogers owns Shaw, who has their own internet. Bell, owns, Bell owns Bell. Bell owns, owns Virgin. Virgin. Uh, what's like the next one? Tech, Tech Savvy. Savvy. I swear uses Rogers. They use Rogers cables yeah. or whatever. I pretty much they all use either Rogers or Bell. Pretty much. Even even for cell phone towers, it's either a Rogers tower or a Bell tower. They pretty all come up next to one of those towers. That's fucked up, man. But we have no. That's why our shit's so expensive in Toronto. But like, there's no um. This is a monopoly. I'm just. I'm still puzzled, man. I'm still puzzled at how fucking good of a deal that I got. Like, I'm still. <clears throat> puzzled by that because you never really expect it to go in your favor right oh, like red flags yo the lady said <laughs> you pay currently at 150 megabits per second you currently pay 83 dollars i don't know how you pay that man listen it is what it is <laughs> yeah, that's what I um <laughs> Then I say, well, I know somebody that got 150 megabits per second unlimited for $35 a month. Why the fuck am I paying 83? Was it 35 or 25? Uh, 35. Oh, shit. Okay. And then this fucking lady says, well, you know, I can't quite give you. <laughs> what? I'm still confused. <laughs> the way I, she said it was like, I can't quite oh God, give you, you a news. deal that good, which is 150 U unlimited for $35. But. What I can give you is 500 you for $29. You're using it wrong. She said like, oh, for $5 less, I can give you 500 you with a year it? commitment. And I'm like, what What do you mean? That's worse. I was dizzy. I was dizzy. I like, I'm like trying to decipher whether this dealer is good or not. Like, okay, so wait, what am I getting? 500 you one year. What am I getting? doing the math in his head. But you know what? For once, this shit worked in my favor. So, wow. you know what? How convenient is fucking that? No, 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 no. Let's motherfucking go. All I've been playing. Your playlist? Yeah. I'm going to go with like the best songs of the year. I don't know. Man. My playlist is not that hard this year. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm barely skipping any chat. My 2017 playlist was way harder. Well, maybe because it was like I didn't like. Maybe because it was like the first time I realized Spotify can do that. So maybe some of it was like fucking I, surprise I factor or some shit. I but think I had a 2016 one. I don't know, man. This year's list. Shit. Um, I press record, not gonna lie. Alright, uh, soft. I only love my bed and my mama, I'm sorry. Um Clearly not me. <laughs> I, I see how it is. You don't know. <laughs> Yo, uh, man. Remember when, said, remember when Emma said, um, uh, Drake named his song My Bad. <laughs> Yo, how do people fall? Yo people, Yo, people believe anything they see on the Man, internet. if you stand for nothing, you will fall for everything. Damn, you know bars. what I'm saying? Yeah, that is bars. I'm not gonna lie. Let me give myself yeah, uh, Hello, hello, hello. Uh, let me give myself what do I want to give myself for that. Um, a little mini applause. That was a good one. That was bars. Still. That was a good one. Shower bars. Yo, we are here. Microphone check. One, two, three, four. Hi, low, hi, low, hi, low. Welcome to another episode of the True North Views podcast. This TNT is episode 34. Chief Uh Tobias This is the Harris. Paul Pierce episode. Paul Pierce oh, wore 34, Paul, right? Yeah, Paul Pierce. Um, I hope he did. I, I don't remember. I don't he know. did wear 34. I don't know I who else wore 34. Top of the head. Oof. Huh, I'm trash. I don't know. Anyways, it's all good. True North Views Podcast, we are here. You know what I'm saying? Where your go-to podcast to start your week. Your favorite podcast, your favorite podcaster's favorite podcast. I'm here? laughing because Shola just set his timer on his fucking... <laughs> <laughs> one hour. Oh, sorry, not one hour. What am I doing? You're setting a fucking stopwatch, not a timer. Oh, God, cancel. You know what? It's it's cool. We're still rolling. Set a stopwatch. We're uh, still start rolling. a stopwatch. Start a stopwatch. Sounds ironic. Wow, it did not stop the one from last week. So it's an hour, 171 hours. That's not that long. I don't even know how to stop. 24, just, 48. I, I'm so confused right now with this watch. Four days. 
reset my stopwatch. Times two, that's 192. All right, let's go. We Gucci. Cool. So I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the True Nerd Fuse podcast. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, we are your go-to podcast to start your week. Your mm-hmm. favorite podcast. Your favorite Cheer podcaster's up. favorite podcast. You lit. Some would even call us Toronto's official, yeah. unofficial podcast. Metro Booming wants some more, nigga. Jeez. We are the kings of dope criticism. Uh-huh. The pharaohs of prolific opinion. Uh-huh. The emperors of elevated thoughts. And to this day. You know what I'm saying? To this day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that is to this day. You know what I'm saying? Die. Now, I go by the name Harris. I'm your skirt master, just Shola. And as usual, we're giving you our views from the perspective of a couple of first generation Canadians on what's really buzzing, buzz, buzz. what people are talking about, and most importantly, what people are not talking enough a about. Boot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Saskatchewan uh, for saying it like a boot, just because. <laughs> well,. Well, 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 we got a special show today. Before we get started on that show, of course, let's do our plugs. You can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram. Yo, my thumb is killing me. Fuck. From what? From boxing. Oh. God damn. I can't yeah, even hold it. You got that Valentinus injury. Jesus, I might as well have it. Oh, for you know four what I'm weeks. Like I was saying, you can follow us on Twitter, on Instagram, <laughs> at True North Views. That's all one word T R U E N O R T H V I E W S. Why you can you? take a listen to us wherever you listen to podcasts because we're everywhere. Everywhere. Um, you know what I'm saying? All that, all those special apps that people use because you, you just don't want to be simple and use mm-hmm. Spotify <laughs> or fucking Apple SoundCloud Music. or Apple or Google Play. By all means, you can or use your that third party app. dedicated third party app because it makes you feel a little bit more in the club. Um, we're I'm there. In the club. We're in that club too. You know what I'm saying? So we posted in the back. Right? With, with our <laughs> posted chins. in the back, chilling, <laughs> arms crossed, head nodding, because you know people don't dance at clubs. Not no smiling, more. just mean mugging. You know what I'm saying? People just keep getting our Instagram moment in. Don't step on my shoes. Because that's all we do. It's all people do in clubs nowadays. Look at me wrong, and I fight you. <laughs> all that shit. Damn, I don't know why people do that, man. Why are people so angry? Yo, I swear, times were different back then. I swear, it's, it's different now. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't we understand just, it. Being tough was the, was being cool. True. True. Yeah. Still kind of is. Yeah. Still kind of is. When we go, we realize, yo, it's, not, it's really not even cool. It's whatever. <laughs> and also, when you grow up, you realize you can Google us and find us everywhere. So just Ooh. search True North Views Podcast on Google. You will be satisfied. YouTube, we're up and running. Spotify, we're there. SoundCloud, Google Play, Apple Podcasts, your favorite other app that we don't know the name to. Uh, we're on there too. So pod please, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Pod Bean, Pod Bay, Pod, something, Pod, whatever. Cast, T- Tide Pod. Whatever you want. Fucking uh, <laughs> Tide Pod. Cast, Tide Pod. 8Cast, Google Cast, 8Cast, 8 Chrome. You know what I'm saying? Chromecast. <laughs> Chromecast, all that shit, man. We here. We out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, I forgot where I was going with this. I know we just did our plugs, but I thought I had a, a really solid train of mind for a moment. Um, but I forgot about it. So fuck it. I'm just going to freestyle this. Right. So follow us. Go ahead. Follow us. Tell six people. Tell them to tell six more people. Wash, rinse, repeat, recycle. And let's try the social experiment. Let's see how many motherfuckers can know about us. You know what I'm saying? Um, saying? Now, like we said last week. Yes, we did. We said that the final two shows of the year are going to be very special. Uh, I'm gonna say, uh, where's my, I'm getting my applause button ready. Wow, my computer just decided to not stop participating. I'm dead ass, my and shit. I might actually have to restart my computer. So, <laughs> no, I got the notes on our phone, so we. Oh no, no, it's back up. We back it's running. Back. It's back. It's we back. back running. We good. I'm not gonna lie, my computer been low key, like you know, stuttering. <laughs> um, if you guys heard the pre intro, you you'd understand why. Uh, yeah. Rogers had to reset my internet. And 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 reset it to so you know the good price can get back in. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the good price can can kick into effect. Um, and our computer's been tripping ever since because the internet keeps going on and off, on and off, yeah, on and off. But you know what I'm saying? It's it's what you got to do to to you fucking get that it. discount. So it is what it is. Now, like I was trying to say, I'm gonna get my motherfucking applause ready. Um, I'm trying to think what other sound effect to give you. I'm um, just gonna say shout out to Shola real quick. Hey. Shout out to me, uh, guys. For, for, for setting this up. You know what? I don't even want to steal your thunder. Please it's not enough to steal please it, take it away. Podcast. We, we both we in this together. But pretty much what we're doing the next two weeks is we talk a lot about music. We both listen to a lot of music. Trust me. We you heard a Spotify shit last week. A lot of music. We listen to a lot of music. What, three thirty seven over thirty thousand hours? 30, 
uh, or minutes no, over 30,000 30, minutes. 30, I was 37,000 minutes. 32. I think you were 32,000 minutes. So all that, we are giving you guys the best of the best, you know, the best of what we enjoyed, the best, you know, collaborations, the best this, the best that, the worst, the disappointing, you know, the people, the albums, and the category we're going to call other. Are we are we sticking to our our name? I suppose for this fucking award show, like this award ceremony that we're doing here. Well, I called it the True North Grammys, but fuck the Grammys. So are we calling it like the True North BET Awards? Are we gonna go do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever. The, the Trueies. I call it the Trueies. Mm, the Trueies. I like that. It's the first year of the Trueies. The Trueies. Damn. Mm-hmm. I got that from the office. I did not get it from the office, but the office had the Dundies. I thought it was fucking oh true. That's yeah, touche. Touche. But I thought it was um true religion. You see, that's why I don't want to call it true. Because <laughs> everyone thinks about true religion, we think true is. Nah, fuck it. We're true North East podcast. We can do uh, that. We're the true yeah. We can do that. So we are giving <clears throat> we are giving our own, and this is the only rule we have about this podcast about our trueies. Is that we make the rules. Yeah, it's whatever the fuck we want. You know yep. what I'm saying? I can um, give you guys a hint of one rule right now. Or just to watch out for just Shola, cause Jeez. that makes it going to drop real soon. What at that? <laughs> Damn. But yo, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. So it's always time. We want to start with, I guess, the People Awards. Um, now, like you said, this is split up between two days, so we're not going to give you everything. Like we're not going to talk fucking rapper of the year today. You know what we're I'm saying? Give a little, a little. Uh, a little. maybe you never know. A but little. sprinkles. Sprinkles of it, but you know what? We're we're definitely gonna cover some things. Um, now for each award, I guess we'll kind of define it a little bit in terms of what it means to us, mm-hmm. so you understand why we're coming from where we're coming from. Uh, obviously, we're gonna let you guys know who we feel has won, and we're gonna sure. try to provide some explanation and or justification. Pretty much, because uh, I'm sure we will disagree at some point in time. Oh yeah. Now, where do you want to start, sir? Let's start with, you know what, biggest L in music. Biggest L in music. In 2019. Wait, no. Oh, sorry, 2018. I'm ready ready in the future, y'all. Yeah, I know. This year done. This year been done. (laughs) Fuck it. It was New Year's a while ago. 2018 was trash. Get that out the fucking paint. You know what I'm saying? Um, Biggest L this year in music. Now, do you want to go first or do I want to go first? You should go first. I'll give you this one. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to play my motherfucking drum roll. You know what I'm saying? So, my... 2018 person for the biggest L in music is. And the is- <laughs> <laughs> it worked. It did. It did. It worked better than I thought. I'm going to go with Kanye West. You know um, what? I'm never going to fault you on that. And the reason I'm going to go with Kanye West, I, I understand the mental part of it. Uh, I empathize with the mental part of it for sure. But. And I hate to use the word but because I'm not throwing away everything I just previously said. I feel like he's done way too much to tarnish his name this year. He really has. He went from being a, a legend to being That's a the co- thing. Come on, man. Right? I feel like he's made himself a bit of a laughing stock. Yes, he is. I feel like, um, you know, my, I'm just thinking about this out loud now. My runner up was basically Nikki. Why Nikki? Oh, you know what? I don't he went from he went from God status to joke status. Pretty much. Regardless, Queen did well. Queen sold damn near two hundred k first week. Yeah. Fucking uh, yay, Kitsy, Ghost, all that shit, it all the well. push of shit, all that shit did well. But your status, the way that you're viewed in the public eye, it's changed. Has gone from God mode. Like we look at Jay Z as God mode. You mm-hmm, know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We look at. Fucking Will Smith, God mode. Yeah, that's you know what I'm true. saying? Nas. We, Nas. Those, those, we look at Kanye. It's like. He, he had that. Mm. And he kind of stepped down. He became a commoner. He, he became you know, one of us. Ex- <laughs> in that sense. Like <laughs> yeah. he, he started. We, and we know that he's always been someone that wants the limelight, you know, mm-hmm. chases the limelight, kind of does whatever's necessary to get the limelight. But, yeah. you know, even just some of his antics from like. <laughs> Appearing to need six nine, appearing to need Donald Nikki, Trump. appearing to need Trump, appearing uh, uh, appearing to need fucking Lil Pump. Yeah, Appar- You know what I'm saying? Like one of those. Like, you're, you're supposed to be the A side. People well, are supposed to come to you. Right. You're not supposed to be going to them. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like that fucking um that clip that that's been floating around um recently Till actually with day. Drake. <laughs> the there I don't know if you saw it. There's Drake footage that came out. Um, I think that Piff released it, 
And it's like, apparently it's from a couple years ago. And Drake is just like, I'm tired of this guy. I'm tired of this Kanye guy. Like, Jeez, you know, I missed he's, this clip. He's, uh, I'll send it to you. He's only supposed to be, you know, he was supposed to do more than the number of records that he did. And now he's just telling me he's busy. He's busy. He's busy. I looked at that video like, yo, that was Kanye. Yeah, that is. May have been annoying, may have been whatever Mm -hmm. feuds or whatever it may be, but you were the A side. He was. You were the guy that was annoying people because you were too busy. Mm -hmm. You were the guy that was saying on fucking Watch the Throne, um, you know, I guess I'm getting high off my own supply. Yes. You know what I do? Turn around and get him beats to Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm -hmm. you were that guy that was just up and ahead and, and like. Again, you said God level. God level. You're not on. And you're, you're not, not there on the no little more. pumps level. You're not on the Takashi levels. That, not even on the Nikki levels. No offense to Nikki, but that's yeah, like you're thing. above Nikki. You're like Wayne status, like Jay Z status. Like you said, exactly. those guys that you see in the streets and you want to take a picture with them. I see kind of like eh, I'm good. Love. That, that well, that's the thing, <laughs> right? It's like you, you're you're almost like ashamed to to be a stan. I mean, I guess let me ask you: How do you feel being a Kanye stan? See, music wise, I try and separate my music from Kanye personally. Mm-hmm. It's fair. Yeah, Kanye to me right now, he seems he's almost like a personally he's like a SoundCloud rapper mm. with the way he moves. Yes, I still like his moves, music. That's don't get key, me wrong, but the way he moves. Yes, I agree. With he you. carries himself. He's like a SoundCloud rapper. I all he needs agree. is dreads and um, color dreads and well, what, color face hair. tattoos. Does he still got the blonde hair or did nah, he change that back? Long gone. That was long time ago. Long gone. He's, he, but he's the same guy. Yeah, I pretty mean, much. All he needs is face tattoos now, and I would think he's a SoundCloud rapper. His music yeah. still bumps. Don't get me his old stuff. I still bump it, but. I'm not caring for anything he has to say. No two cents of what he has to say. That's the thing. So that to me, I mean, biggest L this year in music, most disappointing Man. person in music. I don't um, fight you on definitely this. gonna be Kanye West on 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 my end. Now, before you say yours, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking do that announcer shit again with that drum roll shit, because I'm feeling that. <laughs> I'm liking that little thing. So <laughs> um okay, fucking say it, but like pause, because I wanna fucking throw that drum roll in there. All right. <laughs> Biggest L this year in music is... The winner is... <laughs> I thought you were going to say it. Oh, you want me to say yeah. it? Oh, I thought you were going to say yours. No, I, I said mine. Oh, yeah, mine but I thought you were going to say it just To for finalize that moment, yeah. it. You're right. You're I thought right. that's all I was waiting you're for. You're right. Fucking you're right. <laughs> Kanye West, you're absolutely right. right. Now, okay, we're going to have to do yours again. All now. right, it's good. My biggest L this year in music is... That drum roll takes mad long. Forever, for real. But I'm feeling it. It's actually a tie. Jeez, how convenient um, before I say... is fucking that. Wow, how convenient <laughs> is fucking that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, before I say who they are, I'll tell you why it's a tie. And it's almost like yours, what you said, going from one size to another... This is going from an A-level celebrity in the public becoming an A-level celebrity in jail. And mm. this goes to Takashi 6 9 yep. and Ty Dollar Sign. The Ty one, th- I, I get it, but Wait, that I one kind of threw me off. I see it as if you were to give me a shit ton of money for be- becoming a musician, you damn as well know I am not going to jail. Mm-hmm. I'm not coming close with mm-hmm. anybody that's, or anything that would send me to jail. Word. They both associated themselves with one the gang life and one the drug life. Cocaina. And now they're both in jail. So I I don't feel pity for you. I don't feel I do feel sorry for them, but that's an L in my book because you were Ty Dawson was on everyone's album. Yeah. Everyone's album. Yeah. You know he was getting paid. Even when he wasn't getting the um the feature credit. Yeah. He, he was still doing vocals on there. Everyone knows his voice. Everyone knows, oh yeah, that's a Ty Dollar sign voice. Exactly. Uh, yep, Takashi was one of the hardest people in music. As much as we may have not liked his music, he was hot. 11 for 11 or what is it? 10 for 10. Yeah, Billboard. Uh, 74 out of 100. That, that makes you one for one. Go ahead. And now we're lucky <laughs> if we would get music from Takashi again, considering that he's, probably, he's probably facing life. And Ty Dollar Sign is facing a maximum of 15 years. Well, we may get that free TC too. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Imagine him free TC too from jail. Free TC? Whatever comes next, whether it's free TC or fucking Beach, Beach House, House or party for... it's going to be bananas. Yeah. And for... It's going to be bananas because we're going to see Ty Dolla Sign again. You think so? I think we will. Not, not um, next. Well, he's going to drop something. His, his label will drop something probably. Takashi, on the other hand. I don't know, man. I completely agree with you because we're not seeing him again. 
Um, yeah. We're definitely not seeing him, at least for a while. For, for a minute. And I think with Takashi, the, the biggest L for Takashi was the fact that it became a self-fulfilling prophecy. Yep. He, he spoke about it. Yep. Charlemagne spoke about it. Yep. Joe Budden spoke about he always it. said that energy. Fat Joe spoke Meek about it. talked about Fucking it. Fucking Meek talked about it. Um... Everyone, Everyone spoke about it. Angie Martinez spoke about it. Yo, watch your energy. Fucking Ebro and them, I'm sure, spoke about it mm-hmm. as well. You Just know another what I'm old nigga hitting on a young nigga. And, and that's the thing. So we, <laughs> you know, the younger artists at times ask, okay, hey, why aren't the OGs guiding the younger artists? And when the OGs are guiding, it's seen as, hey. Suck my dick. Or, you know, fuck mm-hmm. that. You know what you're saying? You, you were young once upon exactly. a time. You were wilding out. Let me wild out. What? Everyone told Takashi what was going to happen. Pretty literally yes, everyone told him what that. was going to happen. And a year later, he saw it coming and he chose to ignore it. And we see where he is a year later. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, no, nah, I completely, I completely agree song. with that. Um, Big L this year, man. Big for L. For sure. Big L in music. Um, where do you want to go next? Well, opposite of L is a what? A W. Mm. So let's go biggest W this year in music. Biggest W. Now I'm 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 reading this. So basically for 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 the viewers, um, because whatever, we're transparent. Uh we wrote this shit down. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we're just freestyling. <laughs> no, we, we wrote down our choices, of course. Um, and I haven't looked at Shola's list. I've only looked at my list. Because that's all I'm focused on. Yeah, I'm really I'm saying. Anyone else's. So I'm all, I look at your list right before we introduce the category. Yeah. And I'm gonna say this is interesting. I like I like I like what we did here. You'll, so you'll see it. Biggest W this year in music. Now I'm gonna start with myself. My biggest W in music for the year. And the winners. I forgot what my other button was. Let me try that again. <laughs> and the winners. You get you get there you get there. Biggest W in music. I'm giving that award to Meek Mill. Ooh, okay, I'm okay. Gonna, I appreciate that. I'm let's give him a round that. of applause as well. Meek deserves that. Yeah, we're just bumping him before this. We finish our recording too. Word. Now, for me, it's a no-brainer. For me, it has to go to Meek Mill um, because almost the exact opposite of Kanye. Right? And and obviously, they're, and that's where I'm going with they're my, opposing awards. That's right? where I'm going with my W of the year. You'll see exactly why it was... Exactly, I was gonna say opposite of Kanye. And I'm curious how you're gonna spin that when I see the name that you that you put. <laughs> um, for myself, for Meek. So let let's kind of run Meek's timeline a bit. So he was in that crop. He was in that kind of top five crop of his class. You know, uh, Kendrick, Cole, Drake, uh, Wale, Meek, uh, Big Sean, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, say Kendrick, right? Kendrick, uh, yeah. yeah. From there, you know, heat after heat after heat after heat. Uh, then he started to become a little bit tiresome to listen to mm-hmm. to the general public oh i'm tired of the yelling da 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 same same, same things same topic we don't care about your Audemar anymore you know what i'm saying like <laughs> all right we we know we know about your freaking your Rony, your Audemar. we know Audemar. we know about it you know what i'm saying then the drake shit happens um after the drake shit meek becomes a joke pretty much right meme. meek becomes a laughing stock meek becomes a meme you, you know, got meeked. You meeked didn't yourself. didn't respond. You meeked yourself. You know, push is not meek. Yada 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 yada. Right, becomes laughing stock, and his music also takes a huge hit because yep. nobody's focusing on his lyrics anymore. They're only focusing on hating on him because it's now socially acceptable to do to so. Hate on meek, like the way people do it, Russ, in that sense. Right, shout out to Russ, man. Um, then this album, of course, you know, we, he gets out of prison, Robert Kraft associated with him or jail yeah. or prison, whatever he was at, uh, you know, Robert Kraft, all these white people are associated with him and all, and everyone's wondering, <laughs> yeah, that's all okay, when you get a white people on that's, side. that's kind of weird that these guys, how is this all going to play out? We're a little confused. Robert Kraft did get a bar though. Well, shout out to, to Meek mm-hmm. for, you know, coming through on his Remembering. Work. All Robert Kraft wanted to do was be included in a hip hop bar. That's yeah. all he wanted. That's every um, white person. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> white person's cool. He goes through his thing, then he drops championships. And you and I spoke about the title. You and I spoke mm-hmm. about, uh, you know, what championships means. You know, Philly, the city, even though the football team's trash now, uh, that that year. is what it is. Uh, the Sixers <laughs> trust the process. I'm not really trusting it no more. I mean, it is what it is. They got Jimmy though. <laughs> they got um, Jimmy. No, that was for them. <laughs> um, but obviously, Meeks rise back up. You know, out of prison, that kind of yeah. thing. Now, when you listen to Meek, and I kind of had a conversation with myself about this. It's the Jay-Z effect. 
Meek's level of articulation, Meek's level of, I guess, painting a picture, Meek's mm-hmm. level of, it feels like Meek has graduated yep. He's immensely. Grown. He's grown up, right? He's and we showed growth. And we asked ourselves months ago, before this album was even announced, we asked ourselves months ago, the next project that Meek puts out, can it solidify him as a five-star rapper? Yeah. I think he's officially in that space, and mm-hmm. I don't think you can take him away from that space anytime no, soon. No, no, no. He's he he planted himself in there. He built his roots. That's and the thing. He, this last album dug his roots even deeper. And yeah, like, yep, I'm here to stay. Fam. This this last album was definitely him putting the flag on the moon. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Shout out like to Steph that. Curry for for not believing in that. But uh, <laughs> he doesn't believe in the moon. He was he was probably trolling. Uh-huh. Seth, Seth. Oh, Curry Seth. Oh, oh, Donald Porter. No, I'm saying Seth Curry said that Steph was trolling when Steph said he believes the moon landing was oh. fake. I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but this is this was his flag in the moon. This yeah, was him me. establishing himself as a five-star rapper. Just the way he carries himself in interviews, mm-hmm. the way he speaks, the way he raps, the way he can, you know, the way he can kind of hold his weight on a Ross and Hove feature, on a Fabulous yeah. feature, you kind of forget about Fab. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, Meek has become that name now where you look at him and it's like, I'm not going to call him God level because very few people get that title. But But again, like with Kanye, how you kind of view him from God to regular, you kind of view Meek from regular to God. Mm -hmm. He's he's establishing himself for a long career. Definitely. What Meek is doing with that Definitely. And he's also showing range with starting to sing, starting to do Mm -hmm. Spanish records, chilling in Harlem too much. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Like (laughs) all the Dominicans in there. (laughs) All the Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying? But a shout out to Meek. I think biggest W in in music this year has to go to Meek Mill. And he did it all in the last fucking two months of the year. So it's like, it's crazy. That, That gives me even more reason to give him this award. I'm yeah, saying. No, I feel you. So that is my pick. Biggest W this year in music is going to be Meek motherfucking Mill. Feel Meek me? Millie. Now From with Philly. yours. All right, my biggest W of the biggest W of the year in music is. The winner is. Forest Hills' very own Drizzy Drake. You almost confused the listeners because they were probably thinking. <laughs> 2014 14, Forest, Forest Hill, Hill Drives. Drives. Nah, nigga. We talking about in Toronto, Toronto. The rich part of Toronto is called Forest Hill. Yes. That's where Drake's from. Mm-hmm. That's not where he's building his house. He's building his house in Bridal Path. Yeah. That, that's Bridal Path big, is near thing, no? It's really near Forest Hill, though. Yes. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's like it, part it of is Forest Street. Hill. Is it Forest Hill? It might be. It is, actually. So it's, it's on the other side of Bayview. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably so. That's where Prince had out. Trust me, it's a, it's a rich area. Yeah, the die here, you can drive through that area, but every house is gated. I used to, <laughs> uh, I used to just drive down that block just to just to look. I remember I was driving through Forest Hill, and this is off topic. I used to drive down Forest Hill, or around Forest Hill, and every driveway there is heated. Yep. It's snowing, and there's snow all over the grass, and you see the driveway, pristine, shiny pristine. white. I'm like, it heated driveways. I'm about to go home and start shoveling. Their and beater cars are like BMW 3 Series. So every driveway is a beater. Mercedes 3 Series or 300 Series. And or uh, some kind of a luxury car. Yeah. You just see like a random Bentley sitting in someone's driveway. Yo, if yeah. you see if you see like an Acura TL on on fucking for in Forest Hill, that person don't make no money. Yeah, they're probably visiting. <laughs> that person, don't, if you see, <laughs> yeah, they're visiting. You see no mini vans. It's too. just me. It's no just mini me. vans. It's just me and my Honda. Accord. But I'll tell you why I gave it to Drake. Let's hear it. I gave it to Drake because he did exactly opposite of what Kanye did, and actually not really. Why did why give it to him is because one he dropped a fire album. It wasn't that fire, but it was fire enough. You're to stay killing fire. me. You're just going mad back and forth. This guy is not making no sense. <laughs> okay, I actually gave it to Drake just because of the beast he was in and how he's never said a word other than the other than the Kanye stuff with LeBron James. But and he's still winning somehow. Mm. He's somehow winning the Pusha T mm. beef. With uh, the, I don't know if he's winning it. No, but I don't think the Pusha T beef tarnished Drake in any way. There we go. That's what I want to say. He didn't. He didn't lose it. He didn't win it. But he didn't really. He just gave him more spotlight. He's definitely winning the Kanye beef. That, that's what going next. And then the Kanye beef. Man he, said one one word. Not one word. But he had one conversation with LeBron. Kanye's had like ten thousand videos. I mean, and he has Kanye running from TMZ. <laughs> that's exactly why I'm giving it to him. And Drake has hit us. Remember we. Said, Mm-hmm. I'm glad Kanye is fucking exposing <laughs> what we've been saying. <laughs> if my, if my, me and my family get hurt. Drake has hit us, man. 
But yo, I don't know why I gave this to Drake. You know the funniest shit is when when uh, when Kanye said that uh, Drake bought out the first two rows of the Pusha T concert. Was that real? That shit was general admission. Okay, so I'm so fuck is you talking about? That's exactly what I was confused. About. I was what in the first talk? row. Drake, you didn't buy my ticket. Were you talking about different city though? That's what I was thinking. Maybe no, he's talking city. about the guy that got attacked at the Pusha T show who's still in hospital apparently. Is he really? Doubt it. You know what? I'm milking that injury. I'm suing Pusha T. Anger, Actually, probably there's a lot of blood. There was a and... yeah. A lot of I saw a lot of security guards with blood. So by the way, I saw a video on World Star on Snapchat. Yeah, and they give credit to academics on that video. Word, eh? I saw. I even Go took a figure. screenshot yeah, of you it. You know what, man? And I was like, wow, okay. It's like, it's like YouTube slash academics slash Twitch. I mean, and I'm like, yo, come on, man. Listen, I have the DM from World Star that says, "Can we use your video and give you credit?" So I'm gonna just leave it at that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just, yeah, but yeah, I gave it to Drake <laughs> because. I don't know. He just he's, he's been in two beats and he's come out untouched, unscathed, unhurt. I'm not mad at that. That actually makes a lot of sense because, like I said, I was wondering where you're going to go with this. I feel yeah. like there was other names to choose from, but it was just more of the beef thing. And yeah, I go into two beats and come out the un- untouched. He's it, fucking untouchable. Yeah, exactly, is un- what it is. And he just proved this year that look, I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna say whatever I want, and people are gonna believe me over you. People still think Kanye told Pusha about his kid. Now we don't know if it's true or not, but. A lot of people just do believe Drake over Kanye. Yeah. And it's because of the way he carries himself. Exactly. And back to what you said about Big Zell, Kanye's not carrying himself like... Like a like a God MC or exactly. like a God level MC. Yeah, Jay-Z's not going to be doing this stuff with Drake. Remember when fucking Kanye tried to rant to uh, rant about Jay-Z on stage? Like, There's a reason you why you've never heard about it since. You, why are you doing There's that? There's a reason because like, cause Hove carries himself like a mm-hmm. God. Exactly. I'm not Probably gonna... made one call and said, my nigga, chill. I dare you. Chill. Stop. Just chill. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, chill. And then he and then he shut up ever since. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, no, I'm I'm not mad at that Drake selection at all. I agree with it. Um, where do you want to go next? Um, uh, well, the last two, there's two last in people awards, and that's lyrical and hype. I'll uh, we'll go with hype first. So I guess can you can you describe this oh, award, so please? I should, right, I should, yeah, <laughs> I should give better description. This award, next award is hype nigga of the year and lyrical nigga of the year. Hype nigga, of course, is people that make the trap beat. Almost like your sound. Don't say of course, because you you're the one that fucking coined this term. So let's not <laughs> act like everyone I, knows it. Cause I honestly this term is catching steam. It, uh, I think it makes it? sense. Uh, I'm, I'm using know. this term. Hype nigga are the people that you, they're not giving you anything of lyrical content. Like the lyrics are not or, you're not there for the lyrics more Yeah, than, okay, I was gonna say that. Yeah, you're, you're not, not there for the lyrics. You're there for the turn up. Mm. You're there for the headbanger. Mm. You're there for the these lines make no sense, but they sound good. Mm-hmm. One of those that I have no idea what you're saying, gonna, but uh, it sounds it's me, it's me, 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 melodic. Me, yeah, that one. Medolic <laughs> shit. So I'll start this one off. I'm with it. Um, true. Let me give you your motherfucking. Uh, I'll give you the Jay Z one. And the winners. The winner is Juice World for hype nigga of the year. For hype nigga of the year I'm because. With it. For I didn't hear about this guy until February. That's and I've not stopped hearing about him. That's interesting. I, I didn't know that you only heard about him this year mm-hmm. until early mm. this year. I because I, I I heard "Lucid Dreams" by Juice World. I thought it was a Post Malone song, and I was like, it was right after Post Malone's album. I, remember, I was like, I actually do remember that now. Yeah, I, I remember, remember that I perfectly. Who now. the hell is like? When did I listen to Post Malone's album? I did not hear this song. I remember, and back, I looked you at were it. Like, you were like, yo, this guy's like, this guy's the Black Juice World. So I mean, sorry, this black guy, Post Malone. World. This guy's the Black Post Malone. So why were you gonna support Post? I think <laughs> right? that's what you said at the time. <laughs> I think I did. <laughs> Well, and you haven't looked back since. Never have. And he's been everywhere. This award was going to go to Takashi because there is really nobody that's more hyped than Takashi's music. Let's be honest. But I can't give it to a nigga that's in jail right now. Sorry, man. You lose, you lose, you lose he all lost, your... He lost the award for himself. Yeah, pretty much. And I give it to Juice World because Juice World on every hype nigga's album. Mm-hmm. He had at least a feature on, on Tory Lanez. Did he have Tory Lanez? No, he was um, on Tory Lanez. No, he wasn't. He uh, was on Juice... Trippy Reds. Yeah. He had a collab album with Future. Yeah. And he was on a whole one. bunch of other features <laughs> too. I can't remember. He's working with Ski Mask. He yeah. was working with Oh, yeah. He with was X. on Ski Mask yeah. um, um, album. And he showed different varieties. He showed his freestyling. Mm-hmm. He showed his ability to do that singing thing. And on Ski Mask, he just did some screamo shit, which I low-key enjoyed. So Juice World, keep it up, man, and come to Toronto soon, so I can actually he did come to Toronto, but tickets were way too expensive. That's crazy. That yeah. Juice World. Well, it was Juice World and like Boy Wonder. So, 
Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was like eighty bucks for Rebel, and I was like, get the what? hell out. Yeah, I'm not fucking with Rebel. Fuck Rebel, dog. Yeah, Rebel is not a sponsor. They're wilding out for fucking ticket price. <laughs> Juice World is not eighty because they want you to get a ticket. booth. Fucking Jay Z is eighty bucks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right? Three hundred section, but nonetheless. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But like, that, come on now. Put that little footnote in there. Fucking Juice wrote 80 bucks. Anyways, I'm not mad at that award mm-hmm. at all. Um, my hype nigga of the year. The winner is. I'm going to give it to Shaq West. You know Young Shaq West, I'm getting really rich. I'm a, it's, my only reason for this is Mo Bamba. Yo, I'm not even blaming you. I'm not. I can't fight you. That's it. That's I mean, it. I have no words. It's just Mo Bamba. I was bombing that song today. Believe it or not, I you was know, bombing that you song. You know what would have been crazy though? What? And obviously, he's still very young. Um, if Mo Bamba just erupted, like if Mo Bamba was averaging like twenty and ten, oh. this track would be a million times harder. That's all the way playing in Orlando. You know, know what I'm Orlando, saying? Right? Yeah. Oh my Eight and God. Nine. Don't they give Jonathan Isaacs more minutes more minutes than Mo Bamba nowadays? Probably. Mo Bamba, sh- like, he's not shit, but like, he's, he's not. Raw. He's yeah, too raw. He, and he's not strong. He's just lanky. It's too. So raw. it's yeah. one of like centers can bully him, like like Thon Giannis. Will, <laughs> Giannis will bully him in the paint. True that. Like he doesn't have. He's just long and lanky. That's a fact. But, but for uh, for Shaq, um, you know what I mean? Like I said, Mo Bamba obviously was his his big single, and you know that that song has a lot of longevity to it. His but album, beyond dude. that, that's what I was gonna say. Mud Boy is not bad. You know what I'm Mud saying? Boy, like, it's really slept on. It's a really slept on album. Mud Boy gave you. I'm not gonna say gave me a lot because there's a lot more hip hop albums that I got more from yeah, than, than Mud Boy. Um, but Bro. in that hype nigga category, Mud, Mud Boy, Boy gave me some shit. Like Gmail was a sick track. Yeah. Live Shack West was just Live as Shack hype West. as fucking Mo Live Bamba. Shack West. Fucking uh, yeah, a lot of hype. W E S P N. Yeah, Kyrie was a sick track. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm actually going to bump this album after this. I feel like I bumping swear. it too. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I feel like bumping it right fucking Kyrie now. I used to bump that when this album came out. But I'm I'm happy with what Sheck West gave me. Um, to touch on your Juice World comment real quick. Remember how I mentioned, I think it was last week, he's doing all this shit. He's been around. His face has been around. It mm-hmm. feels like he's been around forever. And the nigga just turned 19. Shaq like West? No, uh, Juice, Juice World. Yeah, he's you know what I'm saying? So that I can understand why it's your hype nigga of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, Shaq West is kind of the same reason. Like, this kid's young. He's Dude's like 20, 20, 19, something like that. Yeah, he's from New York, too. Shout and he's he's doing his fashion thing, too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He Dark skin brother, the... pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he signed to Travis Scott label. and tra- You know Travis Scott's going to get me now. I didn't know that. Thing. I yeah. actually didn't know that. He signed Travis Scott's... Uh, what's it called? Astro? Not Astro. I forgot what he called it. Astro Thunder or some shit? I don't fucking know. But Shaq West, to me... Seems like one of those artists that isn't a one trick pony, but does one thing very well. Yes. Right? So he makes Mo Bamba very well. He mm-hmm. did it five times with fucking Liv Sheck West, Mo <laughs> yes, Bamba, WSPN, Gmail, Kyrie. WSPN, Kyrie. His whole album, pretty much. He makes the same Bamba. song great. I think that's what we said. We said it's Mo Bamba. All over it. Times. Thir- yeah, forever tracks around that, but it sounds good. Pretty much. <laughs> but he gives you more. He gives you more as a celebrity in that mm-hmm. case. And I'm excited to see see what happens with Shaq West. I'm surprised to see what that sophomore album looks like. Um, but most importantly, I'm just surprised. Uh, surprised sorry, I'm just excited to see how is he going to keep himself relevant. That's that's something. Because we've not heard anything since Mo Bamba and his album. And True. that was, I think, late summer. True. So, you know. But Mo Bamba been rocking that's Mo to this moment, rocking. right? So it's like, why would you try to I wonder disrupt? I where it is in the charts. Oh, why would you disrupt Mo Bamba if you don't have to? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So my hype nigga of the year is gonna be Shaq West. Can't fault you there. Nigga. That's my word. I'm sticking to it. What do we want to do next? Lyrical nigga of the year. Lyrical nigga. And of these the year. are for the niggas or niggas. Niggas. <laughs> the Yo, female. Honestly, bro, I've been waiting to like find it on Twitter again. But I'm gonna just say it. I'm gonna just say it. So McDonald's, you know those McDonald's promoted tweets? Yeah. How it's like, you know, choose fucking six nuggets or 20 nuggets or some mm-hmm. shit. Or it's like fucking, do you want a Big nuggets. Mac or a McChicken or some shit? Yeah. Like, you see oh, that, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The voting one. Yeah. The Mc, Mc, uh, McDonald's ones. McDonald's has one on there. And I'm trying to find that sponsored ad. I'm trying to like say McDonald's in my phone multiple times so that like Brick Brother Here hears it. it and McDonald's, then fucking McDonald's, 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 ad McDonald's, choices McDonald's, McDonald's, gets McDonald's, it on McDonald's. Twitter. <laughs> I, I've been trying. Trust me. <laughs> McDonald's has one that's called Nugget. Etiquette. 
I was gonna reply to that saying hashtag nigga etiquette. I see what McDonald's is doing there. I see, I'm not dumb. Oh, I'm yeah? not dumb. I see it. I'm gonna fucking see it. Anyways, I mean, publicity is good publicity. I don't know if I cut you off or I don't know if I was no. trapping him. No, no. But lyrical nigga of the year. I mean, again, it's kind of self explanatory. For you know, we're we're opposite of hype. You yeah. know, we're we're listening to these artists. For the, the words lyrics. that they're saying, yeah. right? And and hearing the content and hearing the message and yeah. all of those different types of things, mm-hmm. right? Now, you want me to start or do you want you to start? You can start because I see your list and I see there's, well, let me keep scrolling. Let me keep scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one common theme you guys are going to find here is that I don't follow rules. No, um, we're picking one lyrical nigga of the year and I have three names. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not removing any of them. So I'm gonna fuck. Yeah. So I'm gonna just That's carry the rule. That's the rule we made. <laughs> That's it's the your rule. rules. Exactly. So my lyrical Negroes of the year. I should say that. Are Train that case you could have left that one. I know. <laughs> I actually cut off the hove part. Um, but I should have kept the hove part. So one of my lyrical niggas of the year, Jay Z. Um, I'll just say them all three of them first. The other one, Jay Cole. And the third one is Royce to five nine. Okay, okay. For Jay Z, I'm a I'm gonna let you get that one off. So I'm not gonna really expose why I picked Jay Z for that. <laughs> I want to make sure know it's like this is why I picked Jay Z. Yeah, uh, for J Cole, um, and and I will touch on it for some other awards that we have as well. Uh, he did a lot this year, man. He did a lot this year. Kod was a great album. I feel like Kod, KOD was, was a good. was a timely album for today's society Definitely. as a whole. Um, and his features were were super fire this year. One of the hottest features of the year. Like his features were insane, like Ooh. insane. I can't pick which feature is the best because they're all amazing in their own way. The six Lack one was one of my favorites. And, I mean, that was actually one of my least favorite, believe really? it or not. Right? Which song was that again? Six Lack. Um, pretty, pretty, pretty little, little fears. pretty little fears. Right? Oh That's no, sorry. The GID one was one of my favorites. Um, I think he, yeah, off these. I think oh, he killed. My God, he. Body. I was like, he, like, he wanted to keep up with, he wanted to show that mm. I, I got to keep up with mm. um, J.I.D. on this track. And you know what he mm. did? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, anyways. Yeah. But yeah, go back to your- I love playing that song. Oh, man. Off these. Um, but yeah, no, my other, my third um, lyrical nigga of the year is going to be Royce to 5'9". Um, very slept on artist this oh, year. Yeah. Um, he, thankfully, he people- an album? Yes, he did. Mm-hmm. Thankfully, people are talking about Book of Ryan, which is yeah. the album. Uh, thankfully, people have that, or at least a lot of hip-hop purists have that in hip-hop, their top five. Um, one thing people are forgetting about is fucking Prime, Prime 2, the album that he did with uh, fucking Primo. <gasps> yeah, I was say he did <laughs> another collab <laughs> yeah. album. And, and that, everyone said that was fire. And, and that got, Primo got, album was damn near better than, than Book of Ryan. It got, it got Gar for Gar. Uncle critically acclaimed. Yeah. yeah. I remember he seen about it. I never listened to it because yeah. I don't listen to Roy's Death 5 9 I listened when he came out with that. He said, you know, he came out with a collab with um, you know, he collab with Eminem. Eminem. Yeah, yeah. Bad Meets Evil. Yeah, I listened to Bad Meets Evil too. That that's was when so I was like, Rosa Five Nine was. That's when I was like, mm. that's an album that I have not appreciated enough. But oh god, that put that put Rosa Five Nine on the. Okay, I've been sleeping on this guy. I don't know if you've heard it before, but if you haven't, everyone go Google um or YouTube. Um, Renegade, the Jay Z Eminem track. Oh yeah, search Renegade. But the Royce to Five Nine version. Ooh, I've never heard that. It's before. Royce and Eminem. Ooh, okay. So obviously they must have used that as a yeah. sample to carry forward to Jay Z, or I don't know if it's remixed. I don't know if it's back in O two or O one. I don't know exactly what the storyline is, but if you listen to Renegade Eminem uh, featuring Royce to Five Nine, Jesus Christ, that guy is a monster. You dope. Um, but like I was saying, you know, Book of Ryan, like Royce to Five Nine, did two different things this year. He gave us Prime 2 with Primo, where it's like just bar for bar, music for music, rap for rap, rapidly okay. rap. I'm going to just show off type, rap, of, rap, rap. type of thing, right? And he showed off very well. Then he came out with Book Orion, which was the personal side of things. So it's like, hey, I'm a great storyteller. I can, I can expose myself. I can make myself vulnerable. And he did that masterfully as well. Mm-hmm. So... Two albums, two full-length albums. He wasn't cheating out with skits or or thirty-second songs or anything like that. They weren't twenty-minute albums. They were full-featured, forty-five to sixty-minute albums. Mm-hmm. Two of them. That's sick. Amazing. And he he's lyrical, so you know you're not getting the same. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying. For half this half this album. I you're will, getting content. I will mention one runner-up because I don't follow rules. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna have to mention. <laughs> I'm gonna have to mention Styles P. 
Uh, he just has to be mentioned for all the work that he's done this year. He, I think he, he damn did near did work. four albums this year, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, and they all lines. were full length projects. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're on there by default for that. Shout like. out to Styles P. <laughs> Shout out to Styles P for sure. But yeah, my my lyrical niggas of the year. Uh, I'm gonna chime in when you mention yours. I'm <laughs> my lyrical niggas of the year: Hove, Cole, and Royce the Five Nine. Now yours, I guess, uh, doesn't really need much of a drum roll. It really doesn't. Since we already fucking talked about it, but mine is Hove. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I'm going to tell you why I started and you can chime in anytime you feel like. Let's do it. I picked Hove because every time, he, not every time, but a lot of time when Hove says stuff, it sticks with me for some reason. Mm-hmm. Like a line. And there was a line where I can't remember what song, but he's like, he must said, why would he support Belvedere when... Um, yeah, that was um, when Ciroc, when, when Diddy got Ciroc. That was... Um, was that 444? Where, I think it was 444. It was one song Why would I support Belvedere when Diddy got Ciroc? Tip of my tongue. I know what, I know what song you're talking period, about. That whole lyric, that whole, um, sorry, that whole verse he spat there was just about how we got to support black owned business. That may have been black excellence. I think No, was that black. was Everything no. is Love. I remember where it was. It, may, it might have been on that Everything is Love album. I don't remember what Maybe. verse he said it on. Shut up but up to today, I still think about that. Before I even go to a mom and pop store, I'm like, is that a black mom and pop store? Or is that a white one? Mm. Like, is there a black one around me I could just hit up and mm. even if it's two dollars, can I give a two dollars to that convenience store or the that convenience store? Yep. And then he dropped the what's free verse. Yeah. And I was just like, all right, man. Like, yeah. can you stop teaching me for two seconds, dog? Yeah. Like, that, give me some ignorant stuff sometimes, man. That what's free verse, man. That that deserves to be studied in university, bro. <laughs> like that deserves like its own course. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God, that shit is so heavy. That shit was so heavy. And like even just just touching on Jay-Z, because Jay-Z is one of my lyrical people of the year as well. Everything is love. Let's not sleep on everything is love. Yeah, I, Listen to the lyrical content. I gotta, I gotta take everything is love and hard. That you were getting on everything is love. Now, mind you, that album is about 70% Beyonce. <laughs> um so that, yeah. I think that's what really puts me, not puts me off, but like Eventually, I'm like, I want to hear Jay-Z rap a lot more than he did. But I feel like for, for myself, so I'm glad 444 um, in 2017 got the acclaim that it did. It did. You know, won no Grammys. It took a while to get the acclaim that it did because when it first came out, and again, I, I follow Jay-Z religiously, so <laughs> yeah. he's I, just I'm all over this, right? You know, you know he is right now. He's on a board in the center. Right now. <laughs> you know, he's probably in. No, I'm just fucking <laughs> But when, when it first came out, Everyone questioned whether he was falling off. And for, on four four four. four, four, four oh right? yeah, and it's funny because Jay Z says that he's like, "I make some thought provoking shit." Y'all question whether I'm falling off. He said the damn same mm-hmm. thing on um, everything. Dun, 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 dun. Cops come around and tops come down. The when cops come around. What song is that? American <laughs> Gangster. Flinch off the block and I make my mall round. No, was that? Anyways, I think Gangster. that was Kingdom Come. I gotta find the damn. I know song it wasn't now. American Gangster. Gangster stairs get exchanged and the fifth come out. Tough guy disappeared, then the itch come out. And then the itch come out. That's usually what they wisp about, either with chicky wit or his chip of mouth. And I've been doing this since chips was out. Watching Eric Estrada backing up at the Ramada. Yo, your new internet. Table full of powder. Jay Z take another shower on my twenty fifth hour. Fast. Yeah, that's ignorant shit off of American Gangster. You oh, see how long it took gangster. me to see how many bars I had to spit just to, <laughs> just get, to get that? Get that. <laughs> um but on on that very song, and that album came out in fucking like 07 or some shit, Jay-Z mm-hmm. said, I make some thought-provoking shit. Y'all question whether I'm falling off. Mm-hmm. He makes 444 fucking 10 years later. People I question whether he's, he's falling off. off. Everything is love. He stopped playing with you guys. I knew he wasn't falling off in 444. Like, oh, for sure no. That's not even For like, sure no. I, I even stopped at one point because I was like, this is some grown-up ish yeah. i was like this yeah. is not he's not trying to make stuff for the club he's not making stuff for the dealers Mm-mm. he's making stuff like all right i'm a grown man i got kids if they listen to my music yeah i wanted to see like yep. all right i've grown up that was a masterful album but again when it first came out people were questioning him and thankfully that opinion changed among society i suppose or amongst amongst the culture um and then like i said on everything is love he stopped playing with you guys he's like listen man i'm gonna just come out and just start spitting and then he does what's free. And what's mm-hmm. free, apparently he did it like a fucking week ago. Nah, yeah. <laughs> like, come on. He dropped bars, man. Come on. We praised him billboards, but we were young. Now I look like billboards. Is we dumb? Or is you dumb? Oh, my God. And we always talk about that, man. What do you say? He's one other line I want to say that I really stuck with me. 
Look at my hair free, care free. Niggas, ca- niggas ain't near free. Enjoy your chains. What's your employer's name with your earpiece or with your hairpiece? Bro. Like, okay. There's, okay. Let's go back to that line for a moment because you can react to the two bars or four bars, whatever that is, mm-hmm. or you can react to just the near free part. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like the near free, free part alone yep, has 50,000 meanings free. to it. Yes. Come on. Double entendres, double entendres, triple entendres, man. Let's go off Jay-Z, man. Yeah. You can stay on Jay-Z for a minute. Yeah. I'm not a stan, but I respect Jay-Z and his lyrical ability. I'm a fucking stan, so oh, we I, don't know that. I don't care at all. All right. We're going up into albums and projects. So we're done with the People Awards. Yes. Actually, we might come back to People, but not in the same room. True. All right. Your next album, next category, sorry, is albums and projects. Let's do it, man. I'm um, with it. Let's start with your three most disappointing albums of the year of 2018, please. Okay, three most disappointing albums. My three most disappointing albums are. And the winners. It's not a winner. Hey, and the losers are. You're the winner of the award. Right. The award is just a losing award. You know what I'm saying? Um, number one on my list, definitely fucking Playboy Cardi Dial It. Supporting that. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just stop there for a second. <laughs> um, this album is still hyped. I don't know why. It's still hyped on all those complex type of lists. I don't know why people think it's so good. It was trash. There was one song I liked, and that was the Uzi song. And only because it's Uzi, and I love Uzi. What was the name of the Magnolia album? Was it Magnolia? Um, I don't know what it was. That shit was hard. That, 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 that <laughs> was, yeah, like, he had like four or five like. That shit tracks. was hard. That shit was hard. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing. Um, we're doing disappointing albums, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> we expected more. Yeah, we expected more um, from Playboy Cardi, especially after that album that had Magnolia on it, in New York, I'm LA Rock. Hiding in my sock. That song still bumps up to today. Still, bro. <laughs> um, my second most disappointing album for the same reason as, as Playboy Cardi, Earl Sweatshirt. Some rap songs. Yeah, you said that. You said it wasn't that. I still didn't because of what because yeah. of what you said. I did not want. Yeah. I was going to pump it, and I was like, mm-hmm. it's not Doris. Yeah, if it's not Doris, then it's I'm not good, Doris. I'm good love. But you know what I mean. For for Earl Sweatshirt, obviously, we are giving him a bit of a pass. Um, you know, him having to go through a lot to even return to music to even write that. For real. Um, for real. You know, maybe it's a throwaway album. Maybe it's just a way to get your your name back into relevancy in that regard. But. For now, I'm coining it one of my most disappointing albums because I thought it would at least be on par with Doris, um, or even even if it's slightly under Doris, I'm hey, feeling it. But it was no some rap songs. Yeah, that shit wasn't it, man. Damn, that shit wasn't that's, it. That's shitty, man. My third most disappointing album this year, um, Nas, Nas here. Reason for that being, I thought it was okay. I thought the the rapping was okay, but. The production, just them as a pair, didn't, didn't really work. work the way I thought it would work. Everyone thought it was going to be... It wasn't what everyone thought it was. I can agree with that. We exactly. all thought it was going to be something like lyrical with you know, Kanye's production, the use of samples. And it just didn't work. And the fact that it came out late too, on the same day as Jay-Z and Beyonce. Yeah, that didn't just help it either. uploading issues. Like, ah, I just wasn't doing it for me, man. So, I mean, those are my three. Playboy, Cardi, Die Lit. Earl Sweatshirt, some rap songs, Nas, Nasir. Those are going to be my most, uh, three most disappointing albums of the year. Um, what are yours? I guess let me lead it up with this. The winner is... Number one, Culture 2. Now, I know we weren't expecting Culture 2 to be anything legendary. I didn't even expect it to be your disappointing album. That's interesting. But their first Culture 1 gave us, even though... Again, they're doing it for the hits. It gave us a good... Like, more than half of those tracks were hits. Like, you can play that all Yeah, day. yeah, yeah. Fair. When it's a culture too, first of all, those 21 songs, maybe four or five, that's what, 25%? Superstars? 30%? Superstars was hard. Yeah, Gang Superstars. Gang. Superstars. Narcos was okay. The one with Drake like was okay. Narco. Like, they're okay Got tracks, but there was no bang Money hitting tracks. Go. Up to now, no tracks still bumps Money off that. Go. I don't think tracks bump off. True. Culture A two. lot of people even forgot, me included, that the album it came, it came out, out this year. year. They're probably going to have Culture 3 next year too. Yikes. So it's just one of those. Second is actually tied with Quavo and Takeoff's individual album. Shit, you're hating on Amigos right now. Again, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't expect a lot from them, but I expect more than what they're giving me. And I'm just disappointed that they didn't give me 
more than what I got. Like I just got a bunch of random tracks put together. You know what pissed me about the Quavo song? And shout out to Boozy Faye because someone in this group, he writes music reviews. Mm. And I love reading them because sometimes they make me laugh. And in the Quavo's one, he had a song. You know that Quavo song where he starts with Black Lives Matter? It's like, hands up, don't shoot. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, then yeah, he's yeah. like, and then his comments with Evo and he's writing his reviews like, oh shit, uh, um, a song about social justice from Quavo's? He's like, psych. <laughs> here he goes, here he goes talking about trapping again. Shake that ass, Nikki. Shake yeah. that ass, Nikki. So, Don't it like Iggy. <laughs> like, come on, man. Yeah, Quavo and take off. Take her shit off. Or is it Offset? No, Offset's the one that's going on next, right? Who broke uh, up with Nikki? Offset's one is coming up Yeah, next. Offset. Who broke up with Cardi, you mean? Cardi, yes, and Nikki. <laughs> they're, they're getting back together, man. Probably. It's, it's all for the It's all for sure. And then my last one, I'm giving it to testing ASAP Rocky. Need I say more? Y'all know. It just didn't. It took me you're, like how many months to actually nuts. even listen to it. You're nuts. And when I did, I said, okay, I get why, where it came from, but you know, I expected better from ASAP after the last two albums. Fair. This kind of disappointed me. Disappointed. Fair. I didn't say it wasn't good. Just disappointing. disappointing. Yeah, disappointing doesn't mean trash. Just, I like Nasir. I like Earl Sweatshirt's uh, some rap songs. It just but disappointing. I expected better from them. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So I guess a similar award in that case, but slightly different. We're going to go next to the overhyped mm-hmm. album of the year. And in typical me fashion, I have more than one option. <laughs> Literally. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get right into it for me. So my, I guess, overhyped albums of the year. Yes, sir. Oh, winner is. It's funny. We have, we have to go the same. <laughs> we do. My winners are Future Beast Mode. Beast Mode. Same exact reason as my second Isn't option. Beast Mode 2? Yeah. yeah Beast, Beast Mode, mode 2. Don't, don't, don't see my Beast Mode 1. Beast my Mode fault. 1 was fire. My fault. My <laughs> fault. I'll, I'll take that L. Uh, future Beast Mode 2. Mm-hmm. Playboy Cardi Die Lit. It's there again. <laughs> and Drake Scorpion. Um, mm-hmm. So I'll, I'll speak very quickly about Future and Playboy because the same reason. People, people hype them up. It's a complex type of list. Have them in their top tens. Well, because they, they're not both to, albums. They're not trying to have future on the bad side. Future's a big money maker. Fair. A big um, not money maker, but big revenue generator. Yes, there we go. Touché. Bring future to a concert, people will reach. Touche. So why would I say his album's trash? Now you won't want to come perform a complex con. Now my third option is the most interesting one: Drake with Scorpion. The reason why I call this the uh, overhyped album of the year. Remember the rollout? That's you know what and. We're going to do something a little different here. Because I'm going to say my own list so I can have this conversation with you without having to hold myself back. Let's do it. My overhyped albums of the year are Scorpion by Drake and Playboy Cardi's Die Lit. So we're on it. We're in agreement. Yeah. Yes. Now, yeah, I was gonna, that's what I was, my biggest problem you with Scorpion. Rollout. Exactly. It was such a big hype. Rollout. It was like, oh shit, he's doing double disc, yo. Mm, side A, side B. Side A, side yo. 25 tracks. Yo, I heard he might do r and Yo, shit, Barely. yo. Michael Jackson has a feature. Michael Jack? He got Mike Jack? Oh, Play my Mike God. Jack sample. You, you know what Couldn't clear a Kanye sample, though. Yeah, it couldn't. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, and then it just, I mean... It, it, again, it's his worst out of his five albums. It's not bad. It's just, you know. Yeah. I, yeah. You shouldn't have five albums and be getting your worst as a fifth album. Like, your worst should be like your first or your second album. I don't your know about that, actually. That's an interesting argument. Uh, if I think dropping your first album. Your fifth could be your worst. I think your fifth no, is all right as your worst. I think your fifth should be showing you growth. It should be like showing, like, look, like that shit was old and trash. Like, so if Kendrick drops a trash album right now, it shouldn't be trash. He already had three. No, it's four. And if you want to include Section Eighty, not saying it's bad. It's just it, it, it shouldn't it. be. <laughs> it shouldn't be. You know, what I'm you saying? should take everything you learned from your first four up. albums and yeah, Fair. but it yeah, was too I mean, long. Too that's man. the thing. Like, it was in, too long. Too much. In a day um, of fifteen being too long, twenty five is a lot. It it did give us Kiki. It did you yeah, love me? And that wasn't even supposed to be the song. It but wasn't. It's exactly what the title of this award is. It was overhyped. overhyped. Right. It doesn't mean it was bad. Doesn't mean it wasn't successful. Doesn't mean it's not you know it's not showing signs of longevity or or what have you. It just means it was overhyped. Yeah. The yeah. reason Astro World is not here, yeah, because Astro World was hyped, but it was not overhyped. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. That's interesting because Astro World had a ton of hype, but it wasn't overhyped. That's, but, it, it's interesting. Like, but you know why it wasn't overhyped? Because it, it met he had its rodeo. expectations. <laughs> because he had rodeo, pretty much. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So nobody was going to overhype that one with, when he had fucking rodeo or fucking, what's that other one called? Singing in the McKnight Traps. Yeah, Bird like singing in the Trap McKnight. I don't know. He's in the Trap, ass. whatever the fuck it's called. Anyways. That's the name of this song. 
I just put a, a Nikki B song. in the lead. No, bees in the trap was the one with Nav. That's not a, a Nikki. A, a bees in the trap. Be, bees in. The, oh, yeah, talking shit. <laughs> yeah, there's a Nikki insane. song there, and then there's a con, there's a, a Travis and Nav song shit. called Bees in the Trap. Fair. I just put it in a leader. Fair. Speaking Let's, of Nav. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. I guess I'll let you get yours off first. So the next award here is going to be the underwhelming album of the year. Uh, you already know where Shola's going, but I'm still going to give him a drum roll anyway. Oh. My underwhelming album of the year is um, Nav's Reckless. And underwhelming in terms of Nav had dropped his first album, Nav, called Nav. <laughs> you know what's funny? I was on my Apple Watch and a Nav song came on. I was like, oh, what's it with this song? And I see the song is called Nav by Nav. You know, the album is Nav. So I see oh, Nav, geez. Nav, Nav. Nav, Nav, Nav. But yeah, Reckless, he overdid it with the auto tune, man. Like, we know you auto tune. That's cool. Like, we're not listening to you. He's a hype nigga. We're not listening to you for your lyrics. Fair. Do what you got to do to make me to make me smile. And that is the definition of hype niggas, <laughs> ladies <much>. and gentlemen. <laughs> do what you got to do to make me, like, not be sad. And, oh, he just, I could barely listen to his album. It was so auto tuned. He came out the Metro Booming stuff. That shit was fire. His Nav Nav. His Nav self-entitled album. That was fire. His features were fire. And then we got this, Reckless. Like, what the hell, man? Yeah. You know what? But he did, on his newest features after, he did go back to his old style of... Fair. So he kind of recouped. Less yeah. auto-tune, but still auto-tune. He recouped. Fair enough. And what's yours? Because uh, I agree with it Mine, as well. my underwhelming album of the year. And the winners... Jaden Smith. The sunset tapes. I, if I I saw yours after I put Nav, and I was like, damn, that's a good I choice. Put that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, that's a good um, choice. I mean, not even really much explanation needed. I'm sure you guys heard it back on our episode. <laughs> Three it was, episodes ago, four episodes it ago. It was one of the few albums I just said, you know what, I can't. Mm-hmm. I have to just stop. Uh, we gave it a very low rating. Um, I expected a lot more from Jaden. Um, I think my expectations has a lot to do with why I'm so underwhelmed. But by that this. is what. Um, well, yeah, that just, is what right, like that over is what and underwhelming is. Like, True. We have an expectation. Did you meet it or did True. you not meet it? And again, I will give Jaden Smith the benefit of the doubt. Like I did on the episode, I said he was using this record or using this project as a as a touring project because you can't tour Sire anymore. Yeah, he definitely it's been can. too long. <laughs> and you went um, with that. I'm still obviously I'm still very patient with Jaden Smith. I know he's a very talented as an artist, but. Uh, this was definitely a very underwhelming album, The Sunset Tapes by Jaden really Smith. I did not. Um, let's get off of that underwhelming shit. Let's go to some good shit now. So I want to get into, I guess let's go uh, comp, compilation. So compilation top yes. three compilation slash producer albums, if it makes more sense. Just think about albums that are various artists, Pretty ladies much. and gentlemen. Um, I'll go first. Okay. So my top three compilation slash various artist albums and the winners I was about to put 16 there I did put 4 I know um, I know I'm, I'm gonna go with number 1 Black Panther soundtrack number 2 Jamla is the that. squad 2 by uh, ninth, ninth Wonder and of course Jamla Records uh, Rhapsody all them um, Mike Will made it the Creed soundtrack Creed 2 okay um Fuck it, that is my top three. I'm not putting that Metro Boomin shit there. That's number four. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that's my top three. I know we... Well, you agree with one of them, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll get into it to make it... That way we can have a conversation. It's hard to have a conversation when I'm trying to hold myself back. True, then, true. Let me, get into my other ones. Let me get into my other ones then. So okay. Jamla's The Squad 2. Um, again, Jamla Records, man, they're they're great. They're really yeah, good said, label. I need to, um, you know, this holiday, I'm going to bump this album. It's quality, man. It's quality music. When I bumped that album the other day, Champion by Ian Kelly, mm-hmm. who knows what number on the depth charts he's on with Jamla Records, but oh, I enjoy that project from top to bottom. That's good. Mm-hmm. So this, like, that camp is showing me a lot of depth. Progress. That's quickly becoming one of my favorite camps in hip hop. You know I'm saying so. Hip-hop, shout out to Jamla hip-hop. Records. You have Ninth Wonder doing the whole fucking thing. Ninth Wonder's dope. Say less. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Say less. No, no further explanation. Dope. The Mike Will made it. Creed 2. Mike Will made um, it. I like the amount of names they got on there. I like they got oh, a look, bunch of names. Calling. Oh, you got I, I, I to always answer mom's the country. Call. <laughs> always answer mom's calls. Hello, mother. I'm good. How are you? And we're back. Got to always answer mom's calls. You yeah, know what I'm saying? For man? real. Shout out to moms. Saying. 
Um, so yeah, man, like I was saying, Mike Will made it the Creed 2 soundtrack that's up there for me because I like the number of names they got on there. They have a number. Are we talking about this? They spent that money. And the reason why Black Panther's number one on my list is because they I did. feel like they set the tone. They did. You know what I'm saying? They really did. Let me let me let you get into your list so we can fucking talk about it. So I'm gonna say, let me give you a little fucking preemptive role here. Oh, winner. The Black Panther soundtrack. The album. The album. Sorry. <laughs> I know I call and then Everyone just calls it Black Panther soundtrack. The Spider-Man. Um, um, something Into the Universe. I can't get the damn name right. But Spider-Man Into the Universe? Yeah, Into the... Is it Into the... I think no, Into called, the Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse. But, you know like what I'm that. saying? That new that Spider-Man soundtrack, shit, man. man. <laughs> it bumped. It bumped. It really did. You know, Not, We'll get into a review another day, but... It definitely bumped. Um, my, only, my only problem with that project is that... Uh, there was no cohesiveness, and I hate to use the c word when uh, talking about albums and whether they're good or not, because you know it's one of those throwaway words that people mm-hmm. use to try to describe albums. But the Spider Man, I was really listening to it, and I know it's a lot of hype nigga music, but I was listening to it. Everyone was talking about the same thing. Yeah, it, so I fly across the building, fly across the building, stick to the web. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what I pictured was that it's they're actually song. These they're not just making the soundtrack. To put at the end credits, you know, somebody they make a soundtrack and all the soundtracks are at the end credits, right? Yeah, I think the way I was thinking is like they want to use it in the movie, yes. So like yeah, when yeah. he's swinging is when they're going to play. He's fighting someone. He's going on a date. They're playing one song. There was one song he was talking about a girl. I visualized that too. So still. I feel like that's what it was meant for. But I get what you're saying about the crazy. It felt like all random songs, like yeah, all just a bunch of random tracks put together. But that that shit looks hard though. That yeah. movie looks hard. Shit, I want to see that shit. I'm, I'm going to see it tomorrow for real. Now let's move from compilation to collab. So obviously, uh, top three collaboration albums. Um, two or more artists. Two or more. I mean, that's kind of weird. Is it, wouldn't it be just like two artists? Well, <laughs> with um, the uh, J.R. Ryder. Would that be a collab? Yeah, that, that's a right. collab. That's a collab. Touche. If it's, if it's more than two people, it's a collab. I see what you mean. I see the difference now between that more than two and various artists. I see the difference mm. now. I get what you're trying to say. Oh, okay. I buy it. Yeah. I buy it. Anyways. Let me get into my list. So my top three collab albums of the year. And the winners. <laughs> it really could have been that one. Yeah. <laughs> Number one, The Carters, Everything is Love. Are we surprised? Um, not surprised, man. <laughs> Listen, like I said, when I when that album came out, in my opinion, Beyonce's best performance. Really in my opinion, A-level lyricism from Jay-Z. Billion dollar production. Need I say more? Right, my Dude. number two, <laughs> number two on my list, um, Dave East and Styles P with Beloved. This was, I mean, this was probably the best collaboration performance I feel of the year because they really bounced off of each other. They played around each other's styles. They complemented each other very well, and that shit was just super hard from top to bottom. It's gritty. It's grimy. It's New York. Love that shit. Number three on my list. Lil Baby and Gunna. Oh, I'm surprised you put this Drip here. Harder. I I'm surprised so, I put so, this When I saw too. this, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold the phone. I'm surprised Did I, I put this I type in the too. wrong spot? I'm not ignorant, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not ignorant to new music. I like new music. I mm-hmm. listen to new music. Like you, like you said, and you coined the term hype nigga music. You know what you're getting from them. Yeah, there's right? a time and place for everything. It's a subgenre of hip hop. Yeah. I have to acknowledge and respect damn near the top of that subgenre. Oh yeah, it takes a lot of work. You, you can't just you have to respect it. You can't be at the top of something good or bad without putting in work. That's what I'm saying. Without so I feel like Lil Baby and Gunna, that collab project, period, is one of the best hype nigga uh, uh really projects is. this year. It period. Is. Right? Collab obviously fits into this category. So that's definitely number three on my list. Oh I'm not fighting on that. Now for uh, yourself, let me give you my fucking, you know? Oh, winner is the winner is. Is that the fucking um, Super Smash? Is that the Smash? Yeah, which we're going to play later tonight. <laughs> Jeez. That's pause. Cool. But I don't know if that's a pause, but I just felt like saying it. Yeah, why not? Um, I'm actually going to start with my number two, which was YBN Mixtape. Mm. And I put it here because it wasn't a top collab. It was just better than I expected. It was cool. Yeah, it was a lot better I than I expected. I was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, in fact, I had to play it back twice and like... Okay, and I'm probably still going to bump it again before the end of the year. They gave you a legitimate 20s tracks on there. Like, yeah. That and you can just bump. Yes, they there. all sounded different. They Playlist showed, type of tracks. Yes, they showed their difference. Like, hey, look, I'm Corday. I'm Almighty L. 
Cordae is an X-Men. I'm Namir. Cordae is hard. That kid we is are all different, and we are all going to come together on our... Sc- I find that all three of them could be on a song, and it still sounds good. Mm-hmm. It surprises me. Yeah. And then the other one, which, was, again, was a surprise, was Slime Language. Yes, I remember when that came out. We thought it was just going to be Thugger. Oh, yeah, Thug album. It's like, no, no, no. It was <laughs> his Turned whole album. Or some, his whole sorry, record shit. label. Some sneak shit. And one of them actually made my um my top 100 list, believe it or not. It was the... um. In the belly coop, doing the whole thing. Lil Keed. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that track was hard. Yeah, Lil Keed I bummed hard. that track so much. Lil Keed but, is hard. Yeah, those are my two. Slime Language, just because it show, it opened my eyes to new artists. People I've never seen before. And turning up with Young Thug. Young Thug's a good guy. Here's the interesting and thing about mixtape. us creating our own rules. I often put too much. You often put too little. <laughs> you often was gonna say <laughs> I was going to say that. This like, nigga has top three sounds. fucking cut. Co- Top three compilation albums, he has two. <laughs> I have four. Top three collab albums, I have three. You have two. <laughs> Fucking, what are we going to move on to next? And Let I'll me... tell you, I'll just before we leave that, I'll say before we even talked about this, um, we talked, uh, the reason why I didn't put, finish up my top three was because I told him, like, this is my top top. Mm. I'm not putting no not nine out of ten. It. I'm putting a ten out of ten out of, that's it. Not going to force it. Mm-mm, not going to force anything to fit. If you don't fit that collab, come out with a better collab next year, nigga. Jeez. Is that it for the album That's awards it for albums this week? For this week, wait till next week. Next week we got some surprises, you know. All right, now let's get <laughs> then into our special category. In that case, mm, special like other, um, special, um, like special, because we couldn't acqu- uh, we couldn't put it specifically in people or specifically in album. So we're just calling it other. other. Now this one's interesting. Mm-hmm. Um, we're gonna talk about who are some artists. Now we didn't give any ruling in terms of number of people but again really did it. you see an example of me versus shola <laughs> but <laughs> everyone else man. uh who are some artists to watch out for in 2019 now big difference here we're not saying who's up next in period we're not saying who's going to take three to five years to blossom we're saying who specifically in 2019 is going to be a name that that really You're becomes a household about, name yes. or becomes closer to a household name. Mm-hmm. A good example of that is No Name this year. Mm-hmm. A good example is like Lil Baby this year. Lil Baby this year. Gunna, Gunna this, this year. year. Um, who else Even is Takashi. Takashi somewhat this year. Because he yeah, came out like November I, I last that. year. Yeah, I respect that. So by this that. time, what I'm saying, Takashi will be hot next year or Takashi yeah. will fall off. I'm with that. Yeah. yeah, so those are some examples of some names that were hot immediately in 2018. Yes. So let's talk about some names we feel like are going to be hot in 2019. Um, I'll let you go first since you only have one. The winner is... So I only have one because I really couldn't think of anyone else. You're killing me. And I saw your list and I was like, okay, I can agree with one person on your list. Maybe two. I think I know which two. But other than that, um, I gave it to Young Nudie. Um, listen to Slime Ball Three, which now I think about it means that he's been around for Slime Ball One, <laughs> it's like Slime Ball Two, she. and the other she came out with in between. Um, I'm pretty sure that song's bumping in Atlanta. Now I'm not from Atlanta, so people from Atlanta, please tell me, do you guys fuck with Young Nudie or not? Because I'm fucking with Young Nudie almost every day, and I want to make sure I'm not wasting my time. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I want to make sure I'm not wasting my time with this guy, but I think he's up next. He He's kind of on the hype nigga side, mm-hmm. but he does that young thug thing, so it's just kind of like more okay. I sound he sounds more good. to it than just hype nigga. Yeah, I'm with he it. He sounds good. He has a lot I'm of variety. It. Like you've bumped slime ball yep. three. Yeah, he has a lot of variety. He well. shows he shows a lot of difference in his work. So I was going to get to really to Juice World, but I thought it's too late. I think yeah, I think it is too late like for Juice, Juice World. World. I think he's already he blew up too big already. Yeah, he's, he's bigger than about to watch out for. Yeah, no, but I'm waiting for Juice World on my album. But Young Nudie is my artist to watch in 2019, and I bet I will. Cool. I'm with it. And now you're my, artist to watch? my list, clearly. <laughs> Let me keep scrolling. I got a lot of winners. I got a lot of winners. So artists to watch out for in 2019. Um, number one, I have Reason on that list. So that's TDE's newest hire, of course. Hire. Newest signing, Hi. of course. Um, the reason why I have reason on this list is because I, I like what TDE does. TDE focuses on one artist per year, maybe two. Um, last year it was SZA, mm-hmm. right? She blew up. Kendrick's always doing his thing. So Kendrick is like the yeah, anomaly Kendrick at this point. Kendrick, so right? Kendrick, Kendrick is Kendrick. So like Lil Wayne, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 2017, it was SZA. Mm-hmm. 2018, it was J-Rock. J-Rock. 2019, I think it's Reason. 
Hey. Maybe not. Maybe they might go after um, Schoolboy or next. What's my next dude's name? Um, Absol. Absol. It, it might be Absol. Maybe it's Absol. I think. I think I it will Absol. be Absol. Like no, they, no, they got it. their shots. Yeah, but I mean, like they. They I mean like J Rock been. Oh, that's true. Been. He's you know been, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But they really focused on him this year. Yeah, they put. They make sure they put time into his body. Exactly. Sure so I feel like whoever TDE probably. decides to focus on in 2019. Will be a name to watch out for. So TDE um, focus, <laughs> yeah. But I think that name will be their Reason. newest signee, which is Reason. Shout out to Reason, man. Uh, another name I have on here: YBN Corday. Um, he's just the best in that group. I do, but Let's he just hasn't. He hasn't had that buzz since. No, he he does. He since... does. He's been respected, man. Like he, he's he's he respects the game. Okay. Put it that way. He okay. respects the game and the OGs like him. The funny part is that I put you onto this guy and now you know more about him than I do. Well, IBN is my guy. Corday, he's he's nice. Damn, he's like nice. Do you say OGs OGs respect him? OGs respect him. Mm-hmm. For sure. For I like, sure I like when they, they call him about that J. Cole song. He's like, it was not a diss. It was a response. Exactly. He's like, it's a talk, con- we're having a conversation. I gave him a And that kind of propelled back. him to... to, to to, to make me realize status. exactly to make me realize that this guy really has some substance behind he's not him. just a soundcloud rapper exactly uh third name on my list tiara whack i actually agree she's the next missy Elliott. when i went to her con- <laughs> she opened for six last she opened for six and lacks. i was like whoa I, she's I love her music she's fucking nuts i love her energy i love her music i love her voice black world was a great album great concept too every mm-hmm. song is 60 seconds and it stops abruptly. <laughs> Every song Yo, is 60 seconds? Literally. That's dope. Literally. I, I don't know if there's visuals to it. I do want to look that dope, up. I that sounds dope. Because uh, I haven't been on visuals forever. Like, I know TDE bin dropping videos, yeah. and I say that every I week. I have not watched videos in a minute. Um, but I want to see if Tara Wack has some visuals, because she's the next Missy Elliott, man. She's on some shit. Yeah. I I, could, I won't fight you on that but next Missy Elliott. She's on some shit. Bro. She was the one person that was like, damn, I could value this person. Yeah. Uh, number four on my list is going to be Saba. Um, I heard his album was really fucking good. Album is one of the best this year. That's why I've heard. I still haven't bumped it. Yeah. I'll uh, try to bump before next week. It's called Care for Me. Please go listen to that. I'll try to bump before next week. Great album. I can add that into my list. And fifth on my list is Rico Nasty. Nasty. She nasty. Nasty. She nasty, bro. Horrible. She's just nasty. like nasty. the female game is crazy right now because there's so many different artists. There's Cardi different than Nicki, mm-hmm. different than Rico Nasty, different than Tierra Wack, different than Rhapsody, different than No Name. Mm-hmm. Different, you know what I'm saying? Like I can keep going. So I like what they're doing. I like what they're doing. Um, I think that's all I got, man. For for artists to watch out yeah, for in 2019. I, you, you've said enough. Fair. Now, <laughs> hey, man, like, I just mean, like you said, like uh, no, like not enough. Like you said, like much more than yeah. I expected. Let's get then, I guess, to our final award. Of our final day. award of part one. I feel like this needs like a one of those music and y'all one. You need one of those um. Uh, slideshows with like people talking. Well, I really respect this person. True, and I love that person. And like a five, you know, you know when award shows where they do that, they give like that lifetime award. Oh, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Slideshow and put a video together. The closest thing I think I can do to that is like multiple loopings yeah. of the winner is. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what? Let's fucking do that. So this is our going to be our final award for this week. Uh, the biggest achievement off the mic. Would you like to preface that award a little bit? How so. Do we- I, when I thought about this, I was like, I wanted to give it. We talk a lot of music, but let's talk about something that did someone, so, blah, 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 someone that did something not related to music. Someone that maybe could have been a musician, but we're gonna we're gonna um, appreciate what they did away from the microphone, away from the booth, away from music specifically, away from music. That's what okay. I mean by the microphone, like off the mic. Like, no, they're not doing this for the views. They're not doing this for the billboard number they're not doing this for the sales Mm -mm. they're doing this for some other reason i am with that so in that case i'm gonna let you go first and let's fucking preface this i'm gonna throw mad fucking loops on this One more, one more drum roll. Can, now, can you repeat that for yours? Biggest achievement off the mic. I'm giving it to 
LeBron James. Oh, let me. Oh, you're right. I yeah, didn't. I, <laughs> I didn't look at your list. LeBron James. 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 All right. <laughs> Reason why is oh, fuck, I forgot the name of the school, but uh, yeah, the school. <laughs> fuck, that's all you need to say. The school in Ohio. Like the man said, look, I'm leaving Ohio. I'm leaving Cleveland, but I'm leaving y'all with a piece of me. Mm. Built a school there. The school doesn't even focus on sports. He's a sports star. You think he's going to build a school that focuses on basketball? Arguably the greatest basketball player to ever play. Arguably. Arguably. Know. That's why I said arguably. Top two. Yeah, exactly. For sure. But he built a school that focuses on academics. Helps the less fortunate. Helps provide... The, for their the parents. Kid, for their parents. Jobs. Like, fucking resumes. Mm-hmm. Like, come on. Career building advice. Career building programs. Meal planning. Meal plans for the kids. Come on. Now. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner at school, man. Like... You don't, it doesn't get better than that. Man. Extended like, hours. When you uh, have less money, breaks. that's how you use your money properly. Mm. Yeah, sure, you can have the flyest clothes, the flyest cars. Well, what are you doing to help the people? That's mm. it. LeBron did it. He's helping the people. And he's also helping himself with that HBO show. But The shop. That's yeah, that's another thing. Off the mic right there. That's he's already getting legacy. his uh, away from basketball goals ready. So, shout out to LeBron James and what you're doing off the mic, man. Appreciate it. We see you. That was great. Now, I'm not going to do that fucking loop again <laughs> um, because I don't know the buttons I press sequentially. You know what I'm saying? That's a word. Um, my biggest achievement off the mic um, will be indirectly related to music. And my award winner for that is actually going to be Joe Budden. And the reason why Joe Budden is going to be my choice for that is his rebrand. I mean, that, that, that's kind of what it comes down to. Let's think about his rebrand. Let's think about the way that people viewed him back then versus how people view him now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there, there's kind of a running joke on the podcast a couple of times that they've mentioned that it seems like people do shit the day before they know Joe Budden's going to record his podcast. <laughs> let's <laughs> Just let's so think about, talk it. about it. Kanye's tweets, day before. Nikki's rants, day before. Uh, what else recently happened? Uh-huh. Cardi and Offset split day, day before, before recording. Uh, what else happened? You know what I'm saying? So it's like... Yeah, we should probably do something then so then they can talk about it. <laughs> Pretty I'm much. But I mean, just going back to his rebrand, thinking about all the things that he's done. I mean, we know that he created Everyday Struggle, mm-hmm. right? He created um, it? For he real? He created. He pitched the idea to Complex to create Everyday Struggle. Oh, damn. So and then they kicked him off that shit. Damn near academics ain't where he is today without Joe Budden. Right. Hell no. Um, Joe Budden, after that, he has his podcast. Obviously, the podcast takes off. He gets the Spotify deal. He kind of paves the way for the whole podcasting industry to kind of show you guys what's possible or show everyone what's possible. Um, that was a huge step. He has his interviewing skills with his um his his um, his pull up. State of the re- uh, not even before. I'm not even there yet. His okay. pull up. His pull up series. Um, I mm-hmm. wish he would still go with those, but I know he's busy right now. But um, <laughs> see, like you don't know. for a word. Um, but, you know his, his interviewing skills, and and I remember when I tweeted that you know he's showcasing that level of depth. Um, you know that depth. that that Ellen, that fucking Angie Martinez, that you know Charlemagne, to an Charlemagne, that fucking Howard Larry, Stern, Howard Stern. You know what I'm saying? Like he's showing Oprah, a lot, Doctor Phil, he's showing a lot, he's showing a lot. I haven't even got to state of the culture yet. You know what I'm saying? Network television, state of the culture. The show's in its infant stages. You know, season two has already been announced. Um, that show is gonna take off, and 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 offset. The culture needs that kind of show. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else? I, I know there's still a lot of mad shit that I'm missing, right, but yeah. my point essentially is that Joe Budden went from a retired rapper that appears on television. And I'm using television in the general sense, yeah. YouTube, television, Instagram, yeah. etc. He went from a retired rapper that appears on television to a main industry voice, voice a main voice of the culture. A main like, person. Like, people value, and I'm saying people, the entire industry values his opinion mm-hmm. because he gives an in-depth look yes. that many people don't look at. There's a lot of songs that he's broken down where... I have to listen to that song now. Yeah, and then you're like, "Well, I couldn't. I would have never seen that." Song. Exactly. Like even he 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 broke down sicko mode, and now sicko mode is the funniest song on the planet <laughs> to me. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, the, all the Kim Kardashian lyrics and that yep. kind of thing. So again, I I think 
like I said, going from a retired rapper that appears on television to being a main voice that people look to in the entire culture. Hey, it's yeah. something, it says something about your resume. Yeah. So technically, so the nigga does talk on the mic, though. I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. I know, there's no rules to this shit. But you know shit. what, man? There's no rules to this shit. That's no your rules. Guy That's my choice. I'm playing. I don't care who. And I'm motherfucking sticking to it. You feel All me? Right. You feel me? So, you know what, man? Um, Salute to all the fucking award winners. Shout out to everybody that won today. Y'all won. This is just part one. Part one. You feel me? Y'all won part one. <laughs> we ain't even done. Jeez. Mixtape dropping soon. Jeez. You ain't really ready, son. Shit. Who's my <laughs> no, who's not, my I'm three not. artists to watch out for 2019? <laughs> oh, shit. I have myself on that list. Yo, watch show? out for Just Show yo. Let's Tell motherfucking me. go. Um, So in special second last episode of the year fashion, I'm just going to ask you to cue the motherfucking... Oh, before we even leave... Let's do it. Guys, if you have a category... Or sorry, if you listen to our categories and you ha- want to add Touché. someone, maybe you, or you don't like someone we said, you know, let us know. Tweet us. Instagram us. on the, We'll probably post an Instagram clip somewhere. So you... We'll, we'll somehow get back to you. And we want to know this. We'll talk about it on our next episode. Like, hey, XYZ person said, testing was not disappointing. I just understood it. I think that person is dumb. But, you know... Word. That's basic shit. But yeah, just let us know how you guys feel about some of what we said and what are your some top picks? What are your overhyped albums, disappointed albums? Yeah, man. As usual, W-L. just fucking Big participate, L. man. We like it. L. We like the combo, Big the back and forth. We like mm-hmm. the two-way combo that's going on. And yeah. we're excited to hear what you guys have to say about say that. And we want to know what y'all say too. Now cue the motherfucking music, man. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, that will bring us to the unfortunate end of another episode of the True North Views podcast. Hey, for short. Special edition. So continue hey. the conversation by telling a friend to tell 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 a friend. Yeah, you know I mean? Six degrees of separation. Never know what it is. Now, as usual, I go by the name Harris. I'm the skirt master, just Shola. And I guess you just got to tell them the number one rule. Watch out for the waste mans. Watch out for the waste mans, motherfuckers. Stay warm out there, please. It's cold. Actually, it is. It's, been uh, semi- it's not. It's not winter cold. It's winter cold. It's not that cold, but you know what? The, the, the solstice is coming up. The days are dark, Yo, and the that. nights are long. You know what I'm saying? Five o'clock, and it's out here looking like. But midnight. silver lining after December 21st, every single day will have more sunlight. Until June twenty first, um, or then we get more sunlight. The, the, the solstice, you, you you don't know the solstice. I know, I've heard of you know it. the solstice. I've the shortest heard. day of the year is I've... December twenty first. The longest day of the year is June twenty first. Oh, that's a Friday. December twenty first is Friday. That's my last day of work. Which means I don't think twenty first is a Friday, my name. It is a Friday. Trust me, I know my December twenty first of... is a Friday. December Today is the is fucking seventeenth. A... Yeah, you're right. Today's Tuesday not the eighteenth. Wednesday the nineteenth. Thursday the twentieth. Yeah, it's right. Trust me, I've been looking at yeah, the calendar. Right. My this whole, I've been waiting for Christmas. I'm Hayden. <laughs> I'm Hayden. Anyways, True North Views podcast episode yeah, thirty four. Let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs>